Guys, this video is sponsored by our friends at Geology. This award-winning men's skincare company will formulate a customized skincare routine just for you using a handful of powerful proven ingredients that have been trusted by dermatologists for decades. In fact, Geology is one of the only men's skincare companies to have retinol as an active ingredient in their products. If you suffer from acne, dark circles under your eyes, wrinkles, or sensitive skin, look no further. To get started, take Geology's 30 seconds diagnostic quiz and their team of dermatologists will design and ship a regimen directly to your door. Guys, it is that simple. Their face wash is incredible. First off, it smells amazing. And I love the way it makes my skin feel after I use it. With over 4,000 five-star reviews, why not give it a try? I encourage you to start today with a 30-day trial of all four products. Everyday face wash, vital morning face cream, repairing night cream, and nourishing eye cream. Head to geology.com. Take their 30-second free diagnostic quiz. With this offer, you will save 70% off your first order. Or just click on the link below. All right, guys, a couple days has passed. Let's rethink Shemaya versus Burns. What did we learn there? Now, I had an interesting day yesterday. I got a, a call from Hans, and Hans wants to know who I thought won that fight, Shemaya versus Burns. I said, Shemaya. Hans proceeded to yell at me for 12 minutes. He was stunned that I said Shemaya, and he was passionate on this, and he insisted that I go back and rewatch it. Now, I haven't done that yet, but let's think about what Hans is saying. Because I go to the internet the same as you guys do. I like to know what people are saying, what the vibe is. A lot of people think Burns won that fight. Now, that's simply not what I saw. I thought I saw a very clear two rounds to one for Shemaya. There is a fake phenomenon within our sport that to be the champion, you must really beat the champion. There is absolutely no truth to that. Every fight is to be judged the same, but that belief, you guys have heard that. I'm not making that up right now. You guys have heard that. To be to beat the champion, you have to really beat the champion. Well, apparently that's not true for the number two ranked guy in the world. Because if we were, and this is important, because before Bruce Buffer jumps there in the shark suit and reads the cards, I believed that Chamaya have won, but I didn't know for sure that he was going to get that decision. I just didn't know that for sure. It was that close is my point. It was that competitive. That is my point. It was two rounds to one. We all agree on that. Who had the two and who had the one? And these were razor thin margins. But I thought that Shemaya have won. After I hear Hans' argument, I go and see a number of other people who came to the same conclusion as Hans. Now, I had no idea, guys, when this fight was done and we were recapping, that we were discussing a potential wrong decision. I did not hear the crowd in the arena booing. I did not hear an announcer or an inflection from the broadcast team. I did not see a disagreement between Burns and Jemima. I saw a really awesome fight with two sportsmen who shook hands and agreed to live with the result. So it was a little bit surprising me to see this pushback. Now, take Ian Gary. Ian Gary looked as good as you could look. He looked as good as any Irish fighter has ever looked. I put him in the category of that Irish fighter because the category that he wants to be in. But when you do look at the stand-up of Ian Gary in that fight, his feints and flinches were as good or better than any Irish fighter I've ever seen, and I also follow boxing. Huge compliment I'm giving him. Ian Gary, who has the right to an opinion, who is undefeated within the division, who's a bit of a, a media phenomenon himself, was on Ariel's show today. And he talked about what it was like to be there live. And he said when that fight was over, as much as he appreciated, he did understand that Gilbert Burns won. He said the vibe in the building with the people that he was sitting around had it two rounds to one, Gilbert Burns. Now, I, did, I just simply didn't know this until Hans called up and broke that on me. I did not know that we were discussing a potentially disagreed upon conclusion. Because, guys, I don't have the world's worst idea for you. You want to know what my idea is? It's Shemaya versus Burns on ABC Part 2. Generally and historically speaking, when you see a fight as good as this one, that's also a surprise. This was a big surprise. Shemaya was to roll over him. Shemaya was to, uh, to make it 5-0 and oh that he goes less than a round. This was a surprise that this was a bloodbath. 
It was a surprise how many strikes each guy absorbed and each guy threw. We just didn't know we were going to see this level of calories being burned, this level of heart rate being achieved. Generally, when you have a fight like that that's as wonderful as this, you rematch it. However, you don't get to rematch unless it's a championship fight because this was a championship fight. It falls into a different category. If we allow it to go into a different category, Shemaev will get what Shemaev deserves for being the number two guy in the world. He will get a shot to become the number one contender. Allegedly, this is against Colby Covington. This is where it stands right now. Maybe. Why do we got to talk Colby into that? I mean, why do we got to go pull Colby off and see what Colby's doing and move him in a direction? Colby's got no heat with Shamayev. It's an amazing fight. I want to see it tremendously, but why do we have to? It sounds like we already got our guy. The guy is named Gilbert Burns. If we don't go the route that I'm suggesting, we do not go the rematch, up which no one else is suggesting. I'm putting it out there so you guys, right? I got a spark going. Now you guys got to add to it. If you leave me hanging on this one, we don't get it, but listen to what we don't get if Burns doesn't get that rematch and on ABC and in a main event. Guess what Burns get? Nothing, guys. This is the problem that it has happened to Burns from Jump Street. Gilbert Burns is willing to do things that nobody else is willing to do, and his reward for doing that is that he gets asked again and again to do things that nobody else wants to do. We can't let that ride. We ignore, do you guys remember the night that Michael Chandler lost to Justin Gaethje? Okay. Because I don't. I have to remind myself repeatedly. I forgot that Chandler lost that fight before I left the building that night, and there was only two matches left. I constantly forget because he looks so goddamn good. It's one of those things. You guys can relate to that. It's Burns is in that same spot. Burns cannot go out there and have people, fighters included. I bring Ian Gary into this just because he went on the record one hour before I sat down with you guys today and said this. You can't have the opinion of people like that. One guy gets to go into a number one contender's fight on ABC in a main event, and the other guy who did just as good, put up just of a match, by the way, did it with the odds stacked against him, by the way, did it when nobody else was willing to do it, stock goes up just as much, doesn't get anything, and that's what's going to happen. And what I'm doing, I'm, I'm trying to come to you guys with heart. We don't use heart in this business. This is competitive. It is as hard as it gets. All chips are in. You take everything. That guy leaves with nothing. That's the way it goes. Nobody's doing anything wrong to Burns here. But I'm not wrong to bring out the point that if you look at the timeline, Burns over and over has done things that nobody else is willing to do. But he doesn't get shown those same rewards even when it goes his way. He just moves on to the next one, the next big ask. And it's one of those spots where we don't want that to happen to Burns, right? And that was one of Hans's points too. Hans said, man, I'm not letting Burns go out this way. Hans has all sorts of opportunities. He's got he's got a real marketing mind. I'm 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 beating behind the bush because I know exactly what Hans is getting ready to do. I'm beating behind the bush, but but if Hans wants to throw an arm around somebody, it's going to work. He wants to throw it around Burns. The MRI community voted on who's going to get bonuses. Now I left. That's done and behind us, and that's as simple as the search away. I left that, but when I left, it goes to top three. Burns was in that discussion. Burns was a top three which means even in defeat, he would get it. If you go and look at Crypto.com, who grabbed this idea from Mar Marshall Rogan Anu, to award people of the night, they gave one, and this part is done, this to Yon. Top three fights of the night, they gave it to Yon, even in defeat, because you, the fans, are the ones that vote. You, the fans, thought Yon did a good enough job. You, the fans, some of you thought that he won. You, the fans, thought that performance, which is a cool move by you guys. I mean, I got to tell you, that's a cool move. But if you do look at what MRI was doing, at least when I left the conversation, Burns was in it too, for the same reasons that Ian Gary stated and that Hans is stating for me. And guys, if we don't go with what I'm saying, put Colby out. What the hell's Colby got to do with this fight? Colby's got other things. We're going to pull him in against Jemayev because it's a really hard fight. Well, yeah, I, I admit for you, I want to see that. I admit for you that that's an absolute war. I admit for you, I got no problem with it. But if you're juxtaposed, now we gotta, we got to talk to Colby. You guys act like this fight is done. Colby's never said he's going to do the fight. You'll be pull, pulling Colby in out of absolute nowhere. Which maybe he comes. For sure. We could call him right now and find out. I'm just suggesting for you with the limited information that we have. We still don't have him yet.
So now we got to get him over here, or I can promise you a rematch of what we just saw and loved, except I got to put one change on it. You're going to see it for five rounds instead of three. I think I have your attention. I think you are now weighing that and going, well, wait just a second. I was, I was planning to see the Colby fight, but, uh, huh. And it also solves, I think, what my bigger gripe is. My bigger is, what's going to happen to Burns? If you tell me Burns gets to fast forward, he goes to go to ABC in a main event against Shemayev, and we're going to make it a number one contender's fight, I'm happy because I think he deserves those things. And I do compare it to the night that Chandler lost to Gaethje. I, I guess, I mean, I guess those guys' stock went through the roof. I guess it's a loss. We find out if it's a loss based on what happens to Chandler next. Chandler got a big fight. It's going to be with Tony Ferguson. Okay, that problem solved. But we still have the problem of Burns. Where does he go? What do we do? I'm very open to hearing from you guys. But I also am I'm listening to you guys. Is what's making me come and bring you this piece. I didn't know you guys thought that he won. I thought it was just a really awesome fight, but we all understood it was two to one. Well, apparently we do understand it was two to one. But we disagree on who had the two and who had the one. Guys, it's not the worst idea we've had all day. Looking for a big main event. You're looking for what's next for Chamayev. I think what's next for Chamayev should be what just happened for Chamayev. Gilbert Burns versus Chamayev part two, except this time it's for 25 minutes.